Hello everybody, I'm making my sticky place ribs. And if you want to know how I make my ribs, so you better watch this video. Now I'm just browning this onion with a few bay leaves. And this is about one and a half onion. Okay, and I'm just going to brown this until they're like golden brown and caramelized. After I fry off the onion until they brown and caramelize, and then I'm going to put um, ginger and garlic. And I just use this garlic because I'm a lazy bitch. So you just have to stir it out. I'm going to put about uh, that much. I don't really measure. And ginger, this one as well. About that much. And then you just have to stir that in. I like really um, gingery rich. It goes well because it's going to be like gingery, spicy, and sweet rich. So you just have to stir around like that. And just stir it for maybe like two or three minutes. Add a bit of water. Then just scrape, scrape it all down, all those brown bits. And then I'm going to start putting the sauces. Okay, I'm going to start putting the sauces. First, you're going to have um, to put like four tablespoons of um, barbecue sauce. I use a big tablespoon. So. That's just how I measure it roughly. Remember, whatever um, barbecue sauce you have. And then I'm going to put like a tablespoon of this oyster sauce. Uh. There you go. One tablespoon of, uh, what do you call it? Worcestershire. 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 That's how you read it. Yeah. No. Worcestershire, <laughs> also known as Worcestershire sauce. One tablespoon of um, sesame oil. And then, two tablespoons of, I just use Indonesian pot sauce, this one. Mm -hmm. Two tablespoons of hot sauce, or chili sauce. When the kids around, I don't use any of these because it's going to make it like a little bit spicy. Just two tablespoons. And then, uh, two tablespoons of tomato sauce. And I also put on... Um, Black pepper. Here's the black pepper. This is just crushed, your normal, regular crushed black pepper. I just put it in a plastic bag because we don't have any pepper grinder. Just put like that much. I don't really measure things. Maybe I even. Okay. And for extra sweetness, golden syrup. You could use honey or maple syrup, but we don't have any honey nor maple syrup, and then we could only found golden syrup at the shop. So you just put like um, two tablespoons. I'm gonna put one. Look at that. Ooh. And then make sure you get it all off. sugar. This probably like um, grated palm sugar, about maybe two tablespoons as well. And that is it. That's the recipe for my sauce. And you just have to melt it away. All of the sauces is already salty and already sweet so you might want to taste it first before you add any salt.
and now we're just gonna put like um hot water in the pan like that yep yeah, keep going okay thank you this is called um hot marinade now I'm just gonna put the ribs in in here I have about like maybe around three kilos of veal breast which is veal ribs basically but they're like much much tender here we go they're quite meaty as well I'm just gonna put it in there they're the best okay there you go going in and I'm gonna put just um, regular ribs because you know we have extra so we could freeze it out after it cooks and tiny pieces now we're going to slow cook these for about um, maybe about three hours now you wait until it's bubbling like that after you put the meat in and I'm just gonna put the cover on there you go and then after you put the cover on then you put the fire on the smallest setting and then you wait and then check for about one and a half hour you check the dentist and after that maybe you do more like 45 minutes more so see you in about three hours okay I think it's um, about two and a half hours already and we're just gonna check if they're ready all right let's check if they're already yeah look at that can you look at that they're already really tender. Now I'm just going to fish all of these and put it in uh, trays that I already prepared. Now you have to be careful because this is really, really tender. And I'm just going to put it on the tray here. Okay, there's another one. Oh, goodness. Whoa, almost fell. All right, and I'm just going to put the lining up. There's the beef ribs. Mm -hmm. That's yum yum. Okay, I'm gonna be, oh my God, look at that. Look how tender they are. They're like almost falling apart. I'm just going to put it there. So I fish all the ribs from the sauce. They basically cook and already really tender. And then I'm going to just thicken the sauce for the glaze. So just um, turn the heat into maximum, lid off, and we're just going to cook this until it's all reduced, shiny and thickening. Isn't it, Wenwen? Wenwen, Lily baby. <coughs> hey, gonna have some ribs. All right, now you've seen how much our sauce is reduced and thickens, and it's ready to glaze the ribs. So I'm just gonna turn the heat off. Heat off here. All right. Now I'm just going to start to glaze the ribs. Okay. So there it is. Just scoop it out a little bit over there as well. Let's see if I could see what I'm doing here. Ooh, they're hot. Very hot. Okay, this is how you glaze them. You just spread them evenly like that. That's correct. Yep. And then you have to glaze the other side. Now that our ribs are glazed on both sides, see that? Now we're just going to put it in your preheated oven. I put it about less than 180 degrees because the sauce contains lots of sugar. I don't want them to get burned. And then you're just going to put that in the oven. Go. Uh, that's one. Okay. Uh, and there's the second one. Going in. 
so basically these are cooked you just want to the glaze to become like really really super sticky sauce so just put it in the oven for about maybe 20 minutes um, depends just check your oven uh, check the ribs if they're sticky just take it out because you don't want it to get burned so this is our final recipe this is my barbecue ribs and then I just serve it with some boiled and um, steamed vegetable and fresh vegetable there's tomato cucumber uh, broccoli cauliflower the purple carrots from the garden and the normal carrot and this is the leftover rib sauce the glaze remember and you could just uh, pour this in the ribs when you're going to eat it as an extra sauce and here we are now you know how to make my barbecue ribs i hope you will make it soon and then let me know see you later that college look at that daddy look we're eating ribs is it yummy hmm yeah mm. look at all this food and it's just the two of us because Nimbot is um having Wait. a nap and then the girls is in the other house usually we'll be having like maybe what 10 people <laughs> eating my ribs yeah 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 well hopefully things will get better yay the isolation <laughs> so i could cook some more ribs and then invite people over okay i'm gonna eat now peace out people and stay safe